Good day mga Kabayan Techers, this is your Kabayan Tech and today we are going to restore data from a working MacBook to a new MacBook using Migration Assistant through Wi-Fi. But before we begin, if you are new to my channel, welcome and kindly take this time to click the subscribe button. We are trying to reach the 1,000 subscribers for this year and if you like this video, kindly click the like button. Thank you very much. A brief disclaimer before we proceed with the data migration, I'm not responsible for any issues like data loss. I strongly recommend doing a time machine backup to an external drive. I have created this video as an alternative way of restoring your data from an old Mac to a new Mac with the risk in mind of losing all my information in the process. There might be some steps that might appear different. Read the prompts carefully before clicking any buttons. If you are uncomfortable with performing the data restore step, seek the technical services from the Apple Store or a technician where applicable. The scenario that we have here is you have a new Mac and you have initially set it up without restoring your data from your existing Mac device or from iCloud. And you finally decided that you want all your data from the old MacBook device to restore on the new Mac device. Assuming you do not have backup on iCloud or you don't have a time machine backup. This procedure will work on any Mac devices as long as it is working and can connect to the Wi-Fi. You can also use Ethernet cables for you to have connection but that would be for another video. So we have two Mac devices as our example. The left MacBook Pro is the one that contains the data and the right MacBook Air is the newly set up computer. Make sure that both units are connected to the same Wi-Fi name or ID for this setup to work. After we have connected the two Mac devices on the same Wi-Fi, we run Migration Assistant by pressing Command and Space Bar keys and typing Migration Assistant, then press Enter or by going to the Applications folder and look for Migration Assistant. Then click on the Continue button and if you have set up a password for your login account, it will ask you to enter it before the Migration Assistant can continue. Then we wait for a few moments for the next screen to show up. Once it shows up, there are options to choose from and we are going to focus on the scenario mentioned a while ago. For the new computer on your right, we select the, op the first option from a Mac, Time Machine Backup or Startup Disk. This means that we are going to restore data from another Mac. And for the old computer on your left, we choose to another Mac, which means data from this computer will be transferred to the new Mac device. Then we click on continue button on both computers. If the MacBooks are not plugged into power, a prompt will show up reminding you to plug it. I strongly recommend plugging both of the computers until the restore finishes, regardless if the MacBooks are fully charged. Click on continue. To proceed to the next screen. The screen on the new MacBook Air on your right will show a list of all devices that are currently on Migration Assistant mode and if you have a Time Machine backup drive or a server. We select the MacBook Pro icon then click on continue. The screen on the old MacBook Pro will show discoverable as MacBook Pro and then will show random series of numbers that should match to the numbers shown on the screen of the new MacBook Air. This means that you are restoring data from the correct computer. If you are restoring different sets of Mac devices, this is a security feature so that you don't transfer the wrong information to the wrong computer. So those numbers should match. Be reminded that this will consume bandwidth on your Wi-Fi network that will affect the speed of transfer and the speed of other computers that are connected. Then click on continue button from the screen of the old computer. Then this will check the data of the old computer and will show peer-to-peer -peer connection. This means you have successfully connected the two computers. On the new computer, it will show up the data that you are transferring. Select the profile on or the ad or all profiles that you want to transfer. You can even double click the entries and select only specific data. When it comes to application that requires special keys, you need to re-enter after the restore is done. Also, some apps may not work anymore on the new OS and it will show up as a question mark when you have finished the restore. You could either download the new app that is compatible but it might require you to pay for license. Click the continue button on the new computer to go to the next screen. If you are transferring admin profile or profiles, it will ask you to create another password. You can use the old login password that you're using or you could assign a new one. A prompt box will show up asking if you want to retain the existing admin account on the new computer. This shows up because you already set up the new computer prior to the restoration of your data from an old computer. So you have two choices, either to delete the existing profile or, or account on this new computer, or you can keep the existing profile. I suggest if you have saved new files on the new computer, select the second option so you will have the chance to copy those files later. 
After you have selected the second option, an authorization prompt box will appear. Click Authorize and enter the password of the new account. Then click on OK and then click on Continue. On the next screen, the restore process will start and just wait for it to finish. It will take some time to process the restore and will give you an estimated time for it to be done. If you have a lot of data, I suggest doing this process at night, leaving it running and hopefully if there are no issues, it will be done by morning. When it comes to issues on restore, causes of the restore failure might be the following. Wi-Fi connection got disconnected, devices ran out of power, power interruption, all units have corrupted data or drive errors, or total data size to be restored from the old computer is more than the total storage size of the new computer. In drive errors, you might need additional technical support for power-related issues and connection issues. Restore, repeat the restore process all over again. For drive size issue, either repeat the process and select only the data that will fit on the new computer or visiting the Apple Store to exchange to a new device that has a bigger drive capacity or you could ask their services for data migration. Once the process is done, you will see the migration completed screen on both computers. Then click on done. The new computer will go directly on the login screen. Enter the password that you have set up during the restore process. Then continue setting up the computer until you reach your desktop. Your new computer might be warmer to touch than usual because it is using all its hardware resources to perform all the necessary functions needed. Make sure to check all your important files if they have been transferred successfully. For your old Mac, give it a few days before planning to wipe or restore to factory default. So at least you have something to go back to. I do have videos on how to restore your Mac to factory. Links provided below at the description box. And that's it mga kabayan techers. If you have questions, comments, suggestions, kindly write them down below. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, click on the subscribe button. Again, thank you very much and have a good day.